Hello, it's Bridget. This is a natural healing connection meditation. Just take a moment to feel into the natural rhythm of your breath and just allow, allow for an awareness of your physical body. Now I know for many of you, meditation can be boring. It can be dull. It can take too long to get into it. So we're gonna jump right in. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes gently or look at the floor if that's easier for you. Sometimes when you meditate or do a visualization, sometimes you feel a little dizzy or something like that. Just soften your eyes and look at the ground. That's fine too. So you're breathing, right? Thumbs up. Okay. Give yourself permission to drop in. With the next breath you take, imagine that you are a little tiny version of yourself, like a droplet of light is going right in with the air. And you are dropping down into the center core of the body as the lungs breathe out. It actually gives you more momentum to go down deeper into your belly. And you drop like a little droplet of water into a bucket in your belly. But your light, your pure light, your essence, little tiny version of you right inside, dropping deep inside the belly. So being inside your center, this is the core of your body, the engine room of your ship. This is where the momentum happens. This is where it all began. At your soul, your spirit, your center your core. As you breathe in and exhale out, you are not just doing what you're naturally made to do in body, but you are allowing for a flow. You are creating a pure connection to life itself, to the source of your life, for your body. Breathing in and exhaling out creates a rhythm. This is a cycle of life. Allow for the energy when you breathe now to just naturally connect with a pure essence of a source, of a resource, of a life receiving energy through air, through the breath that you take. It's as simple as that. The rhythm of life connected in through you. And as you are now into your belly, dropped all the way down past the lungs and into the belly. You can feel the warmth here. This space is mysterious. It's unknown. There are stories told of this place in your spirit. Stories of gods and goddesses and deities and magic. Stories of loss and suffering of death and there are stories of rebirth all of these stories are part of the fabric of what has been created by the mind and so we recognize that in this mysterious place in your spirit you may not know your way around too much or you may want to avoid it at times that's a natural thing unknown, uncertain. It can be scary not to know. But if you actually allow yourself to feel the space in your belly, you will know that what exists here is all up to you. You are creation and in this space is your create space. It's your creative space. It is your co creative workspace, co-creative with the universe, co-creative with nature and all of the elements, co-created with partnerships with advanced spiritual beings like angels, archangels, power animals, deities, saints, and even God, gods, goddesses. Does that sound too big? It's okay, keep breathing. Breathe in and exhale out. 
I didn't need to remind you, did I? Oh, maybe I did. Were you holding your breath? Sometimes that happens as a human, to hold back, especially in the face of the unknown. But I'm going to invite you to be creative and think about the unknown in a different way, the uncertainty in a different way, as an energy of mystery, a mysterious, almost seductive energy in the unknown. It may look to be in hues of grays or black tones of shadow, but perhaps it just simply hasn't seen or been given the opportunity to light yet. Maybe the sun has not risen in that part of your spirit, and so we do not judge it or cast it aside or fear it. We simply allow it to be exactly as it is in the time that it needs. There's no judgment here, or rather, if there is, it's coming from the mind, and you don't really need to invite your mind into this creative process, do you? Oh, maybe in the past, sure, you have done that, you know, with the stories and things and the heritage and the lineage and all of the things that have happened to you in your lifetime, you know, all of those things. So what if today, here and now, you can create a new, have a fresh creation workspace in your belly. This is your spirit known as your intuition, also called a chakra, which is an energy center inside the body, solar plexus, the sun chakra. So let's be here in this space and let's begin to explore in the mystery. Another word for you, another energy for you, curiosity. Interest, interesting, fascinating. Consider this unknown, the energy of opportunity to explore and discover the cool parts of yourself that you've held for such times as these, for moments of uncertainty. Let some of the mysteries be revealed to you. It is now safe. It is now time for you to be able to do that to receive the benefits of all of the light of your spirit, of all that you are, that tiny speck of a source greater power, a star in the universe's constellations. You exist in multiple ways. There are so many facets and aspects to who you are as you grow, expand, and become, as you create in this creative, co-creative, collaborative space deep inside your belly. This is your spirit. And this is what you have been seeking and wanting all along, freedom. You are a free spirit. So as you breathe, you know, keep breathing, right? Just feel good. There's no to-do list. There's no project plan cost-benefit analysis, a return on investment report that you must create here. It is simply natural, rhythmic. It's in a space of artistic creation, which might be new to you. It is natural, it is innate, and it is incredible. What an opportunity. All right. So when you're ready, you can go ahead and give yourself the opportunity to come back into your full awareness if you went anywhere, that is. And you may not have, and that's okay. It's not required, by the way, to leave your body or your mind behind when you do spirit connection work. In fact, it's quite needed to recognize the mind and the body. It's not separate. They're connected. That's the point of what we call connection, after all, isn't it? This is Bridget. Thank you so much for listening to this kind of meditation visualization. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you've began to feel some of the possibility and the potential that you have for creating, that you have for exploring and for discovery of different aspects of yourself. Thanks for listening. <laughs>